When love isn't enough for a narcissist, the secret to breaking through their walls. Hey there, it's great to have you here for another video. Today, we're diving into a topic that may hit close to home for many of us. We often hear people say that all a narcissist needs is unconditional love to change their ways. But have you ever wondered if that's really true? As someone who has studied narcissistic personality disorder, I can say with confidence that this is a troubling assumption. You see, those with this disorder are egocentric, meaning that their actions, thoughts, and emotions all align with their grandiose self-image. They genuinely believe that their self-centeredness is a sign of success and the epitome of human achievement. Simply put, they don't see the need to change, because doing so would mean going against their idealized views of themselves. They see changing their behavior as a sign of weakness, and they're not interested in becoming less right, wiser, better, stronger, or faster. I hope this sheds some light on why it's so difficult for narcissists to change and why providing unconditional love is often not enough. What other questions do you have about this topic? Let me know in the comments below. Individuals who hold the aforementioned beliefs are prone to falling prey to group thinking, viewing any critique of their actions as an attempt by the inferior or unintelligent to exert influence. Due to their hyper-competitive mindset, they continually strive to one-up others. These types of individuals see taking responsibility and showing remorse as revealing weakness and instead offer insincere apologies. This false apology is an indication that they are not genuinely sorry for their wrongdoing, as they lack empathy and feel no remorse when committing acts of dishonesty. Providing unconditional love to a narcissist will not persuade them to change their behavior. It is important to clarify that I do not advocate for any form of discrimination. Both hating and loving a narcissist are ineffective courses of action. Instead, the most effective way to deal with a narcissist is to remain composed and non-reactive. I'm convinced of the power of love. Unlike those who thrive and achieve through being in love, narcissists are entirely unaffected by it. Relationships with narcissists can be toxic as they are not concerned with our well-being and view us as emotionally vulnerable due to our empathy. Enabling a narcissist, or anyone for that matter, to treat you poorly will only result in their contempt. Believing that unconditional love is the best way to help a narcissist only enables them to continue taking advantage of your resources with no real interest in changing their behavior. Unfortunately, narcissists lack empathy and therefore fail to see the value in the efforts of others to help them. They care more about material possessions than anything else and will go to great lengths to protect their ego and avoid emotional pain. It's important to keep in mind that narcissists are notorious for their avoidance of situations that challenge their originality and will do whatever it takes to evade emotional distress. It's only when they reach rock bottom due to exposure or loss that they may be inclined to make positive changes. However, they will often resort to dishonorable means to solve their problems. It's a shame that narcissists are unable to return the affection and admiration shown to them by others. It's crucial to set boundaries and not allow them to continue abusing and exploiting us. Loving them unconditionally will not result in change. Instead, it's essential to focus on self-care and limiting our interactions with them, even if we cannot expect the narcissist to undergo significant, long-term transformation, they are still capable of taking precautions and acting wisely to prevent unnecessary pain. It's unfortunate, but true that the only time a narcissist is likely to attempt to change their behavior is when there is a lot on the line for them. However, we must understand that any expressions of love and attention will only fuel their narcissistic behavior. Narcissists believe they are above consequences and can act as they please, so any attempts to shower them with affection will only be stifled by their inflated sense of self-importance. It's important to clarify that I'm not advocating for hostility towards narcissists, nor am I suggesting that we should stop loving them altogether. Rather, I'm asserting that loving a narcissist will not bring about a change in their behavior. We should not waste our boundless capacity for love on someone who doesn't deserve it. 
If we were to adopt the narcissist's worldview, it would only serve to satisfy their need for domination and respect, causing harm to ourselves in the process. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Have you heard of any methods for modifying the behavior of narcissists through loving them unconditionally? Please share your feedback in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to read this. To receive notifications when we upload new videos to our channel, please subscribe and enable the notification bell. So everyone, when we hear about narcissists, we often assume that all they need is a little unconditional love to change their ways. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. As someone who has extensively researched narcissistic personality disorder, let me tell you that those who suffer from it genuinely believe that their self-centeredness is a sign of success and human achievement. They don't see the need to change because doing so would mean going against their idealized self-image. They view change as a sign of weakness and they are not interested in becoming less right, wiser, better, stronger or faster. In short, providing unconditional love to a narcissist is often not enough to break through their walls. But don't just take my word for it. What other questions do you have about this topic? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, what's particularly troubling is that people with narcissistic personality disorder are prone to group thinking, often leading to negative consequences. They view any critic of their actions as an attempt by the inferior or unintelligent to exert influence. Due to their hyper-competitive mindset, they continually strive to one-up others. These individuals see taking responsibility responsibility and showing remorse as revealing weakness and instead over insincere apologize. This lack of empathy is why providing unconditional love to a narcissist is an ineffective way to change their behavior. It's important to clarify that I don't advocate for any form of discrimination, especially not for hating narcissists as that won't help either. Rather, the most effective way to deal with them is to remain calm and composed. The bond of love has transformed many people. Unfortunately, narcissists are unaffected by it. Relationships with narcissists can be harmful as they often view us as emotionally vulnerable because of our empathy, resulting in toxic behavior that we enable by believing that unconditional love could change them. In reality, a narcissist is more interested in material possessions than anything else and will go to great lengths to protect their self-centeredness and avoid emotional distress. They will even resort to dishonest means to resolve their problem. And it's only when they hit rock bottom due to exposure or loss that they may be inclined to make positive changes. However, even then, it's crucial to keep exercising healthy boundaries as they may still attempt to take advantage of us. It's essential to take care of ourselves by putting boundaries in place and limiting our interaction with narcissists. It's unfortunate but true that the only time a narcissist is likely to attempt to change is when there is a lot at stake for them. Any affection or attention we show them will only fuel their self-centered tendencies leading to further toxic behavior. Let's be clear, I'm not encouraging hostility toward narcissists, nor am I suggesting that we should stop loving them altogether. Instead, I'm asserting that showering them with affection is not the way to bring about positive change in their behavior. We must recognize that we have an unlimited capacity for love and that narcissists don't deserve to enjoy this privilege. We need to focus on self-care and limit our interactions with them. So, have you heard of people successfully modifying narcissist behavior through unconditional love if you have any thoughts let us know in the comment section below and that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed learning about this topic just as much as i did and if you like this kind of content please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for the most up-to-date content on this channel thanks for tuning in with me today and i can't wait to see you again on our next video take care of yourself and have a nice day